I think Dance Moms taught me how important being a good team member is. Like it taught. <laughs> is there gonna be? Is there gonna be bloopers <laughs> at the end of this? Hi guys, it's Brooke, and we're looking back at my journey on Dance Moms. Isn't she cute? You're the oldest person in this group. You need to be the role model. I really don't know if I want to be a role model for them. Look at the tape marks on the back from being ripped off and put up every week. Let's talk about the board. Brooke, 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 Brooke. Probation, no solo this week. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be all right, little one. One day you'll be at the top. And on top of the pyramid this week is Brooke. It's crazy how big Dance Moms got and still is. Like, people are still watching it 10 years later. That is shocking. Like, who knew we would be that interesting? I feel like that's gonna keep happening. Just generations and generations of people, dancers watching. I always say it's crazy that a mom can come up to me and ask for a photo, a dad who watches it with their daughter, a girl who's my age, or a little girl who just started dancing. It's, it's wild. I think it's a little weird that I'm forever 12 in a lot of people's eyes. Like everyone who watches the show, I post stuff on social media of like me having a cocktail and people are like, what? I'm like, I'm halfway to 50, I'm 25 years old. Make a spooky espresso martini with me. Dance Moms definitely is what started my social media presence. It kind of created the foundation for my like fan base, obviously. And now I've grown and found fans that love me for Dance Moms, but also just for my day-to-day -day TikToks and YouTube and Instagram. <laughs> Brooke! What? I am leaving! I don't wanna go. Too bad. On Dance Moms, I was known as Brooding Brooke, the miserable teenager. <laughs> Girls, let's go! What time is it? It's 4 o'clock. We have to be there at 4.30, and it takes us 20 minutes to get there. We gotta go. I feel like I'm, like, dancing too much just because, like, I never have time to, like, hang out with my friends because they're always inviting me to do stuff, but I can never do it because of dance. Let's go, Brooke! And I feel like my mom, like, really wants me to dance just because, like, she doesn't want me to, like, screw up and quit dance and be a cheerleader like she did. Brooke! I am leaving. I don't want to go. Too bad. I'm concerned Brooke's going to quit dance like I did when I was little, and I really don't want her to make the same mistakes I made. Brooke, I'm leaving without you. I don't care. Why don't you want to go? Hi, Brooke. Because why? It's boring. I feel like being known as Brooding Brooke was honestly kind of relatable. I feel like a lot of teenagers go through what I was going through. I wanted to do cheerleading, I think mainly because all my friends were doing it and they were always talking about it and I just was falling out of love with dance. It just kind of stunk that I couldn't do both. Today I'm trying out for cheerleading and I'm kind of nervous because I've never cheered before. Say the words, 24. I can hear one girl. 24 maybe smiled once. Okay. 24, can you call the chant for us? Just to make sure she can talk. Get out your colors and your clues and go. Well, that time that was better. If I don't make the cheer team, I'm going to feel pretty bad because I let all my teammates down. All right, girls, these are the girls who made it. You are just going to stand up when you make it. If you didn't make it, please gather your things. Thanks for coming. Number three. Number 22. Number nine. Number 20, number four, number eight. And number 24. Thank you, girls. I made the cheer team. I'm so excited to get my uniform and pom-poms. Girls that made it, congratulations. We're going to have a great year. Are you excited? Yeah. OK, you have a lot to learn. I am so happy for Brooke. She really deserves this. But another part of me, is upset because she's walking away from something that
has been part of her entire life. Looking back at it, I'm glad that I went and tried cheerleading, and I'm happy I did that, because I know how scared I was to go against Abby and do something I knew she wasn't gonna like. So I'm happy I kind of put that aside and listened to my heart and did what I wanted. That's pretty empowering. I am an empowering woman. <laughs>
Turn your head and look in the camera. Quit putting your arms up in front of someone else's face. You know, I'm glad that Abby wants to be a part of it, but why does she have to take charge? Abby was always trying to manage my singing career and like insert herself into the whole process. At times, I appreciated it and was grateful because it was helpful and like the Summer Love Song music video was fun, but then there was also times I was like, okay, this is my thing and this is separate from dance. You're my dance coach. Let's keep you up with the dance things. <laughs> We need to decide what we want to do. I don't even know if I want to dance. My mom pulled me and Paige out of dance because Abby's really mean to my sister, and she also doesn't get along with my mom. We need to decide what we want to do. I don't even know if I want to dance. OK, but what do you want to do? Tell me what you want to do. I want to do dancing, but I also want to like model. I would have never been able to take you to do that modeling if we weren't already in LA for dance. And that's why you got to do the song. Like, it all goes together. I think the real question is, do you want to go back? <laughs> no, I don't want to go back. I, I'm just done with Abby torturing me and my kids. I mean, this is supposed to be fun. And I think my kids were starting to not enjoy being there. And I just, I'm not going to put my kids in an environment that I don't think is safe and healthy for them. Things got so bad that my mom was constantly pulling me and my sister out of the studio. But looking back at it now, I feel like it was always for a reason and it was my mom trying to protect us. I did love the girls and part of me wanted to be there, but then part of me knew I didn't and it was just really hard to figure out. You're not replaceable. You're irreplaceable. You're like, this is a part of person. What? And who cares? You want to be replaced anyways. So hope she finds somebody as amazing as you. But I knew my mom loved watching us dance, and I knew she didn't want me to make the same mistakes she did growing up. Didn't want to break her heart by leaving. No, you just sad. sit here and say that my daughter looks miserable, so maybe we should put Kalani in her place. No, I never said yes, that. Yes, you most certainly no, did. No, I didn't. Dang that. Listen. From that fight, like, I've learned that sometimes it's just best to walk away. I mean, we knew that at that point, things had been taken too far, and we were done. We knew our time was over there. The day of the fight was the final day I ever danced. Now I just dance on the, at the bars. Do you miss it? That's funny. People always ask me, do you miss dance? I. I really don't. Since Dance Moms, my biggest accomplishments are graduating college, living on my own. I've been hosting trips, which I think are really cool. I actually invite some of my followers to come on trips with me. I just recently did one in Bali, I did one in Costa Rica, and I have one this summer in Croatia. I feel like we experienced a lot of things being on the show. We were in music videos, we were traveling to a new city every week. We lived in LA for like a whole summer. There were so many different and unique experiences that we had that most people don't when they're 12 years old. We just have this shared experience that no one can touch, no one else has been through it. And we, we did it together. So I feel like we have that bond forever. Yeah.